Hi everyone. So, uh, as promised, I'm going to do some experimental drawing. Uh, this particular activity is around about 13 minutes long. Uh, you can make it longer. Um, it's just a very, very short activity, but you can develop it into, into what you will. Now, I said choosing something to draw is very, very difficult sometimes. Um, I'm normally out there um, looking into the urban landscape, drawing bins mostly, uh, graffiti and anything urban, but in the house, uh, it's given me an opportunity to do something a little bit different. So I've gone for the trusty brown sauce. Yeah, I thought, uh, I love brown sauce. So we are gonna have a go at drawing this. Uh, we're gonna do six drawing activities. Uh, we're gonna do some timed drawing activities, like one minute, uh, three minutes, uh, continuous line drawings, uh, weak hand drawings, so using the opposite hand, uh, pens tied together, and doing some blind drawings. Now you might think to yourself, what is the whole point of this? Well, drawing and freeing up your drawing and not worrying about the drawing is really important to make a start. Uh, sometimes seeing a white blank page in front of you can be quite daunting. And so uh, doing some of these activities just gets something on the page. And, you know, who's going to see it other than you? No one. So I want you to really uh, let loose on here. Don't worry about it. The objects can be anything of your uh, whatever you like. It could be a pair of trainers, it could be a watch, um, it could be some flowers, if, if you if you had some from uh, Mother's Day yesterday. Um, so yeah, so I'll get cracking on. So we're going to about uh, start the first one. Now if you can see my piece of uh, paper that started on there, I've got six boxes, uh, just really lightly drawn. Uh, got to start from the left hand side, probably on the opposite side, um, all the way down to the bottom. Now, if you, uh, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. You don't even have to do the box if you don't want to, to be honest. I've just got a little bit of OCD and I like it to look nice and neat and tidy. I'm going to first at the start at the top. This one's going to be a minute drawing. Uh, really, really quick. Uh, so you've got to not worry about it. It might not even get finished. Um, but I'm going to time it so you know what a minute is. Um, and I'm going to do the same activity with you while we do it. And so we can, uh, you can have a look at mine. Uh, but what you are best of doing now is, is pausing the video, uh, draw yourself out some box. You can even label them. So it's one minute, uh, three minutes, uh, continuous line drawing, uh, which on this one is uh, weak hand drawing, uh, two pens tied together and blind drawing. So I'll let you do that um, and then we'll move on. Thank you. So as you can see, this is my first drawing um, that I've just completed. Uh, a few things that you're just unable to do in one minute, which is adding any tone whatsoever. It's not even in proportion, um, but I've managed to get something on the page there. Now, the next one is going to be a three minute one. Um, exactly the same task, just set the timer for three minutes. Um, and then we'll just see, you maybe compare the two, see what the difference is. Great stuff. Okay, so these are the both of the drawings now. Um, we've got this one minute on the left-hand side, three minute on the right-hand side, and there's a definite difference, isn't there? You can see we've got a little bit more detail, a little bit more tone. It's still out of proportion. I think I've tried to squeeze it in the boxes, but hey, it's, a, it's just a very quick drawing activity just to loosen up your drawing skills. Um, but yeah, I think it, I think it's moving on. I think you're getting a little bit more, myself and getting a bit more confident looking at the, at the bottle itself, knowing what's there, what's needed, uh, where the darts and the lights are there. So the next one is going to move on to a continuous line drawing. A um, couple of rules um, about the next one, and we'll, uh, we'll move on to that one. So we're on the third one, continuous line drawing. Now I said there's a couple of rules on there. Um, one of them is that you can't go back over the same line that you've drawn, um, and no cheating. OK, the whole point of this activity doing a, a continuous line drawing is to create more lines. It's going to look completely different to the past drawings uh, from personal experience. Students uh, of all ages um, seem to enjoy this one. And also, just because we're going to do actually a, a two minute drawing of a continuous line drawing, it doesn't mean that you can't do a five one, a five minute one, a ten minute one, half an hour, even an hour continuous line drawing, depending on how much details in there and how big it actually is. So. First of all, um, I'm going to just show you a very, very simple drawing. 
because uh, some people still think to themselves, well, what can I do? How, how do I actually do the drawing? Um, and then we'll go from there. So I've got my sketchbook. If I was to draw something uh, that isn't continuous line drawing, so I might have a circle on there, another one in there, and another one in there. Um, I couldn't necessarily do that uh, as a continuous line drawing. So I have to think of a method process of trying to achieve it. Uh, and a simple way of doing it is, first of all, you can't take your hand off the page. So I'm going to go around in here. And I'm just going to stop there. I'm going to come in and in there and then back into there. Now, you can go across the lines. I just don't want you going back over the same ones. OK, and what you'll find is that you'll get these beautiful drawing qualities. Uh, just something from very, very simple. OK, I'll put on another time lapse for you. And um, this one is... Um, in fact, I'm going to do it for three minutes time. It gives you a chance to do something a little bit more detail in there. Um, and then, yeah, we'll hopefully uh, end up with some good results. So we've done four drawings. Um, hopefully you're enjoying up to now and you're still with us. Uh, we're going to move on to the fifth one. Uh, the fifth one is two pens. You're like, what the hell are you doing? Two pens. Yeah, we're going to be using two pens at the same time. So I've got two... Uh, fine liners, uh, difference in thickness, but you can use a pen, a pencil. Uh, uh, sometimes you get those multi uh, biro pens. Sometimes you can take the, the lid off there and actually do, you can do more than two pens if you wanted to. Um, but what you're going to do, if you've got some tape, it could be just duct tape, it could be sellotape, or it could be uh, masking tape. You're just going to get the two pens. Try and make sure that they're level. Um, Sometimes uh, if you have them at one uh, higher than the other one, uh, you, you don't really get the other one uh, drawing on the page there. So just try and keep them uh, nice and level on there. And then just get that tape around there. I mean, to be honest, you might not even need tape at all. You can just hold on to it. Um, it just makes it a little bit more secure. So, right, once I've got that one on there. This one's going to be another two minute drawing. Um, Still doing the bottle. And so, yeah, I'm going to do another time lapse um, and let's see what this one turns out like. So that's the fifth one done. Um, I totally forgot to do a, a time lapse on that one. So as you can see um, with this one here, it is getting more abstract as we go along. Uh, we, we're kind of losing the shape of the bottle. and We're just creating lines and shapes. Um, the intention was the bottle, uh, and this is where we're kind of going in the realms of abstraction. So the last one, which is the blind drawing, that's going to be even more so. Um, and to do that, I'm purely, and I want you to as well, only look at the object that you're drawing. I don't want you looking at the page. Um, I just want you to look at, at the bottle and then almost uh, translate what you see with your eyes through uh, the pencil or the pen. Uh, so let's get on to the, the final and the sixth one. Fantastic. Okay, so that's the sixth drawing done now, um, all complete. Um, if you have a look at mine, I've done a little bit extra in the meantime. I've put a nice wash around the outside. I've also uh, did the writing again, just to make it a little bit more attractive, uh, especially if it's going for a sketchbook, whether it be GCSE or A-level. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed uh, the short tutorial on experimental drawing. Uh, please get in the comments below if you want to see anything in particular. Um, and we'll move on to the next one. Thanks very much. See you.